So if I'm wearing makeup, I will go in with this this eye makeup remover. This is from the Up and Up brand from Target. And I'll put it on like a cotton pad. Because I wear waterproof mascara, so nothing else takes off my mascara better than this. And it's kind of just like, I've been using this liquid for years. Um, I have to use waterproof mascara because I have some very straight lashes. So waterproof mascara will hold my curl. Do you see the difference in my eyes? I have horrible, horrible pigmentation on my eyes. Um, that's genetics. By the way, if you watched my last vlog, that Milani um, eye tint thing, under eye tint thing that I bought, I hated it. I don't like it. I'm gonna have to go back to the Origins eye cream or find something, find a different eye cream because that that thing sucked. Like it was like a tint, but it made my under eye like very like um just dry and ashy and glittery and i just was not vibing with it like i like my under eye to be bright but also very moisturized um so that tint was not giving but anyways after that i go in with this ordinary squalene cleanser and what i do is i do like a dab um, depending on how much makeup I'm wearing, today I'm not wearing that much makeup, so I'll do just like the pea size amount. And honestly, I do this when I'm already naked because it's kind of like messy. So you rub it into um, a dry face so it melts your makeup away. And I highly recommend this cleanser. Um, it's only like seven bucks at Ulta and it lasts me a really long time so after I rub it all in the rest I'll kind of like put down my neck so I can get it off of my hands and then um that's when I will get in the shower and wipe like take all that off in the shower and then and then in the shower I use the CeraVe um salicylic salicylic acid cleanser let me show you looks like this um once i'm out of that one i'm going to try to switch cleansers so yeah now i'm gonna take a really nice warm shower and i will be right back so i'm at the shower now i use this paula's choice b H A liquid exfoliate on my face. Add a few drops to a cotton pad, and I go over my face. Like I try to hit every little area. Um, this just gets off everything that I didn't get off with the double cleansing. And you'd be surprised how much comes, how much gunk comes off from doing this. And I notice my pores a lot smaller because of this then I'll just do one more time down my neck after that I'll go in with the Laneige lip mask and to moisturize I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream I have to use a cream and not like a moisturizer because creams are thicker and that helps my skin specifically. Um, right now I don't have an eye cream, so I'm gonna use this under my eyes, but I would be using the Origins eye cream if I did have it. We'll do a face mask, the Aztec Clay face mask, maybe like one to three times a month, just to keep up with my blackheads and acne and all that. It's 7.30 right now. I think Clyde is going to come over right now. And we're probably just going to chill and watch a movie or something. Okay, so it's the next morning now. And I just want to share with you guys like my next step in my skincare. I do these Glow Recipe watermelon drops. Um, just to give my face like some type of like glow. And then I'll use a sunscreen on my face. The one that I've been using is the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Face Serum. This is SPF 30. And this leaves your skin very nice and glowy. 
like I'm doing a little bit of sparkling today right now just so I can look presentable at Target, you know? Let's get you dressed, baby. What do you want to wear? Claudia bought him this cute little onesie thing. <laughs> we should have you wear this, huh? Come on, papi. Let's go. Let's go. Yay! Okay. Vamos a cambiar, okay? So we've started um, foods for Adonai. I'm feeding him some yogurt right now. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. He's not picky or anything. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Can you guys believe that I woke up at 4.30 to change a shitty diaper? Like, that's insane to me. I know I'm kind of like out of focus, but... Um, Adam and I decided that 4.30 in the morning was like a good time to poop. And I had to get up and change him. Hoping that he goes down for a nap. Right now, it's 11.15, so he hasn't taken a nap all morning. And hopefully he falls asleep so I can relax and target. Target's just the spot to go relax at, you know? I feel like because I have so much alone time, like Monday through Friday, um, when the weekend comes and I'm like being very social, my social battery like runs out and then I need to like recharge the next day. So Mondays are like my like my safe space, like my my day to like get back in touch with myself and yeah also like i really appreciate being a stay-at-home mom because traffic is not a thing in the mornings you know like you could do your little errands peacefully and there's parking lights are green the vibes are good yeah we're gonna go to target i am gonna vlog in there because why not you know i'm like that type of wife that if i I'm in the shower and I notice like your shampoo or your body wash is running low I will literally go to Target the next day and go stock that up for you you know so I use my husband's um, deficiency in products as my excuse to go to Target so I'm gonna get you some face wash and body wash babe don't you worry I got you Baby, if you're watching this right now, como me choca que me dejes el pinche carro sin gasolina. Like, like you should have put gas, babe. Anyways, I don't know, I did fall asleep, so let's get off. He's getting really big. Like, I cannot believe my eyes right now. Target has really cute tops right now, like Zara dupes. I want that one, but they don't have my size. They also have this cute little bandeau. These shorts are also super cute. I also really like these sandals, but they don't have my size in them either. I am a size 6, but I tried those on and they fit me kind of big, so I would need a size 5. This is what they look like. I, mean, I can't tell if they're cute or not. I don't know if I want them. They're $15. I got a little iced coffee, just a top. You didn't make it through the whole Target trip. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> You're crying or laughing? I can't tell. This is mainly what I came for because I want to make laundry detergent with this um, Dr. Bronner's soap. Now we're gonna go to Ulta. Oh my god, I'm sweating. It's hot. I need gas. Oh my god, I forgot. I don't want to get gas. I really don't want to get gas. Literally freaking sweating. Like, it's not even funny. It is so hot today. Um, I'm going to get Chick-fil-A. But I'm going to get off the car with him because I want to keep my eye on him. So, we're going to get off the car and go inside. We're at Chick-fil-A now. And honestly, I just want to say I love this stroller. It's the... Even flow Graco, I think it's called, but it like expands flat so you could like lay down and chill while I eat. Got a spicy chicken sandwich and some small fries. The 
worker asked if if it was Adonai's first time at Chick-fil-A and we said yes and he gave him this little cute cow. Oh, too much, baby, I'm gone, I know I got a lot of y'all, but baby, you my favorite home. She love me, she love me not. She... Alright, let's do a little haul of what I got at Target. I ended up getting the chanclas. I'm gonna use them as house slippers. So I'm giving this method all-purpose cleanser a try for like the kitchen counters and stuff um i also needed some dry shampoo so i got the batiste original one and then i showed you guys in target the hemp citrus pure castle soap that i'm gonna dilute and use for detergent this is the brand that I get for Alejandro. This scent is really, really nice. It's the sandalwood shea butter. Got the virgin olive oil for the teeth pulling. Um, I'm also going to use it as my hair oil. So basically, I'm just gonna like apply this to the ends of my hair because my hair is actually pretty dry. I think I'm going to give this a try under my eyes at night because my under eyes are so dry and I really need something that's going to like moisturize them. Hey, come here. No. I don't know. a pretty good budget like I'm not gonna lie the only thing that I got that wasn't like a necessity were the slides but I'm gonna use them like every day so I went to Ross on Friday I think and I bought a few things for the apartment just to make it like more homey so I'm gonna show you guys right now I added these two little throw pillows um to the couch I got these in a set um, at Ross for $13. Go check Ross because that is super cheap for two pillows. Also found this cute little plant at Ross. It has like um like a rustic stone type of vibe. And I feel like it looks better than the plant I had before. The plant that I had before I moved it to our room. And I also put the basket over here because um I had the basket over here and then the patio i got the set for like 120 dollars at target so pretty good deal in the bedroom i added two throw pillows also from ross i think these were like um 18 dollars for the set and then over here is the nightstand that alejandro built um it's from target it was 70 dollars and it comes with two drawers this is the plant that i'm talking about that i had in the living room i moved it over here and I feel like it just looks a lot better. So the vibes are like very low bed, low stand. And then over here, I have my vanity. I think I might have shown this already. But I got the chair. I got the pink chair from Ross. The table from Amazon. And then the mirror is also from Amazon. And then... We had um, the crib over there in that corner, but I put the I put my vanity there instead so I could get natural lighting. And then the bed is directly in front of our... And, and the crib is now directly in front of our bed. The only thing that I would like to add, but it's not like a necessity, would be... Would be a plant right here, but like a really long plant. But those are kind of pricey, so I'm like... Uh, whatever, it's not a big deal. We also returned one of the stools to TJ Maxx. So now we have three and it feels so much better. The four stools was too much, too crowded. So yeah, I think I'm going to relax for a little bit. And then we're going to go get a car wash because my car really, really needs to be washed. Good morning. I am going to do the coconut oil pulling. It's Tuesday. I just woke up and read that you're supposed to be swishing the oil for 15 to 20 minutes and it's best to do it on an empty stomach like first thing in the morning. I don't know the science behind that, 
but I am gonna start with five minutes and I did it last night before I googled it well now I'm gonna try it on an empty stomach um this is the oil that I got it's this virgin coconut oil it tastes really weird when you first put it in your mouth like disgusting but um once it gets like soft you don't really feel it I'm gonna update you guys on the results maybe like in two three weeks I'll see if I see any results but I did take a picture last night so I'm gonna compare the two um overall even if it doesn't whiten I did see that it helps like your gums and like the gunk come out of your teeth so that's fine with me let me go ahead and do this and then I'm gonna brush my teeth This is the laundry detergent we were using before. It's from Costco. But I'm just going to get the measuring cup from it. And I'm going to use this for the Dr. Bronner's one. So I have a medium load. So I'm going to do probably to the number two. 